This is Priscilla Lenora Miles with Crystal Clear Ministries and I want to continue that piece about um, coming together as one and the reason why I want to do that is because there was a couple of people that inquired uh, Miss Priscilla now suppose I'm in this relationship now I had a first thing first things first are you married to this person no well this one-on-one, -on -one, this uh, becoming together as one does not apply to you. And let me tell you why. It's because if you're not betrothed and engaged, and I'm not talking about some long, drawn-out engagement. I'm talking about the type of betrothal that God has put you in. You, you really can't um, put yourself in the rules and the regulations of uh, coming together as one. Because first of all, it's physical. Hello? And I'm talking to Christians. And I have to talk to Christians because that's my bio. That's what I do. That's what I, who I speak to. I, I help to edify God's people, God's children, the ones that are accepted him, them as their personal savior. I have to speak and address my concerns, my ministry mostly towards you because that's my gifting. That's what I do. So first of all, are you married? No, Miss Priscilla, but she is. Okay, now you want me to talk to you about being together as one? Then I can do that. So, speaking to the young lady that is married, that is uh, bonded with uh, someone because of Christ. Christ put them together. Well, she believes that they did. She's not exactly sure because she is having issues in regarding this coming together as one as far as finances is concerned okay my question to her is have you turned it over to God have you asked God Lord you know what I don't know what to do I'm newly married I've been taking care of myself I've been independent for so long that I don't need no man taking over my money or taking advantage of me in any kind of way and I can respect that Get, don't get me wrong, I can respect that. But the moment you said I do, it changed that. So you have to, ladies, before you get married, you have to make sure you can follow this man prior to saying I do. You got to remember that you are now letting go of the reins of everything that you own and partnering with this other individual. Gentlemen, you are the same. If you decided to say, I do, hello, you are now partnering with that individual. Now, I do understand that that is the hesitation with a lot of people wanting, not wanting to make a commitment. Okay, let me say this to you. If you want love in your life in the way that God wants it if you can't commit to God as your personal savior it's going to be hard for you to commit to anybody else it's going to be hard for you to commit to giving your tithes it's going to be hard to commit to turning over the reins it's going to be hard to submit I'm talking male and female it's going to be hard for a lot of things so first of all once you make the commitment unto God believe me he'll show you the way about making your commitment as becoming as one in your finances in your personal life in everything in your time once you give your life to God, it makes a whole lot of difference. Now, I know, I know you say, I'm a Christian already and I'm trying my best, but he's not doing or she's not doing because it goes both ways. Then my suggestion to you is fast and pray. You hear me? Because if you love each other, because God is the love, God is love, not this physical uh uh, lustful love that this world is talking about I'm talking about true love once you get learn the commitment of God and learn the love of God believe me you will understand the seriousness the commitment the promise of living together as one you will know that believe me so I need you to 
consider talking to the Lord about this situation you're having as being in one okay and if he wants me to talk about it some more I will but it's not a whole lot I can say except to become as one ladies and gentlemen is to come what become one with God so everything that you do finances emotions physical attraction all of that is unto Christ believe me I can't say it's not easy because it really is and it can be easy once you start doing it like any habit you start doing it next thing you know you're doing it on a regular basis next thing you know it is a part of you Becoming one, yet, ladies and gentlemen, you can do this. Coming together as one, as unto Christ. Amen.